Okay, now we're going to take a look at best cost provider. And frankly, this is the most difficult as we're looking at you, uh, trying to apply this to the game. This will be the most difficult to uh, implement because uh, you just don't have as much flexibility within the game to do this. But let's take a look at how this is. Uh, best cost provider tries to reduce costs by eliminating features that customers get from other uh, companies' products but are really unwilling to uh, pay for, that they really don't want to have. And increasing, at the same time, increasing the value by adding benefits that the customer can't get from other companies' products. Now, uh, one thing we ought to point out here, customers don't buy features, they buy benefits. And uh, this is a benefit is what, how the product will help them, why they're better off using the product and not using it. So uh, not only do people only buy benefits, they only buy the benefits they perceive. So it's, again, it's exceedingly important that you uh, understand that the customer's perception is the true reality. So with your best cost provider strategy, what you're trying to do is combine a strategic, a strategic emphasis on low cost along with a strategic emphasis on differentiation. And this, uh, uh, what this means is to try and give a, an upscale product at a lower cost and give the customers more value uh, for their money. So we are trying to constantly exceed what the buyer expects to get out of the product by giving them more benefits. And um, what you're trying to do, your competitive strength as a best cost provider is to be the low cost provider of the product with good to excellent product characteristics uh, and, and to have the, uh, uh, and then take that cost advantage to underprice your competitors and at the same time have a competitive advantage based on upscale attributes at a lower uh, cost than your rivals. So everything in this is always focused on cost. So to achieve that competitive advantage, a best cost provider has to be able to incorporate attractive features at a lower cost, manufacture a good to excellent product at a lower cost, develop a product that delivers good to excellent performance at a lower cost, and provide attractive customer service at a lower cost. Everything is focused on lower cost. Now, the main problem with the um, low cost provider as uh, Michael Porter envisioned it. The main problem is that you have the problem of getting squeezed uh, on by uh, people who have low cost, low price products and who because they're only looking at those attributes may be cheaper than the product you have and at the same time on the other hand you may be squeezed by the differentiated product that has sufficiently different and valuable uh, differentiation characteristics that they can uh, hurt you on the area where you're trying to be differentiated. So it's, uh, it's important to uh, really examine this particular uh, uh, generic strategy. And one of the things you want to do is see how you can avoid the squeeze. And what we're going to do is take a look at a new thing that's outside of the game, and that's called Blue Ocean Strategy.